Now these are different kind of tenons. I make them all on the router table. I'll show you shortly just how I do it. But you got all different sizes here. Any, any, you got a real long one like this, or you can go a real short one, almost anything you want. You can just a couple minor adjustments on the router table, and I'll show you that in just a minute. And these here are all my what I call setup blocks or setup gauges, whatever you want to call them. They're just made out of wood, and I use them for setting up on a router, and they work out real good. And I'll show you how those work. Okay, I'm gonna turn the router on and cut one for you. It. So run it through here. Now you can adjust this router up or down, and if you want more, more or less, you can set it back. You know, so you just cut an eighth of an inch, or you can make the second cut and cut three quarter, or all the way up to one inch. I took one here. I just kept setting it back. I get cut almost I think inch and a half. And if you want to do it on the side, you can also go like this too. It goes out real easy too. I'll do that. This and the easiest way some of them take a saw blade or saw and try to run it through like this but that means you got a big thing sometimes a real long one like that and you got to start holding it up and that's very difficult and most of the time you have to have a jig and have to have this clamped on there then you got to go this way you got to reset your saw each time here you just go back and forth and I just take these little gauges here if I want to say I want a three quarter inch there. I got a half inch now. All I do is take this little block here and push it over to there. Say it like that. Run this thing through again. quarter of an inch here. And with a saw you'd be all kind of moving up and down and you can't get it that accurate at, at all. So this works out really nice. I do it all the time like this. Now it's really easy to make offset kind of like this. This is only about an eighth inch and this is about three eighths of an inch here. And you can do that and on a table saw you have to reset everything here. All you gotta do is just move it around. Now, on these blocks here, I use them for measuring like this if I want. Put them in there. And what you should do is on it, and just take this, this is a piece of wood only, just take and do like this. See, now when this I set this up for a quarter inch. I just bring this thing right over here like this and I got it set right on it exactly a quarter inch tightened up. And this is nothing but a piece of wood. What I like to do is take a black marker and, uh, and just put a mark here just exactly where that cutter is so you always know where it is. The other thing I like is a decent push stick. This one here, I make these here, and they're real, real good. And and I got the handle. Just it, I just kept working on it until it fits real. And it not only pushes, but it's a hold on at the same time. So you push it and hold it down. And you're bored like this. And see what I've got this, and I got a thing on the back here. So it only comes up just just up to the cutter, so it's not going to be 
cutting into this all the time. And that works out real good. You use the same thing on the saw. I just want you to take note of this roller. It's nothing but a piece of three quarter inch plastic and the roller mounted onto it. What I do is I take this plate off the router here and then I just drill some holes in here, screw it on there with one inch, about three quarter inch, one inch screws, and that's it. I drill a three, uh, in, two inch hole in there and then it's mounted on there. It's the best router I've ever had. Now I'm going to turn the camera off a minute and screw it back down on a bench. Then I have two fences for it. This is nothing but a straight board here. And that's what I used. I just showed you use that on those tenons. And here's a different one here. This is if you got a big, bigger cutter like that. And then also what I do on them, if I got cutters with no router, with no uh, bearings on them, and I make what I call this zero clearance. I put that in there and run the router. So the router is running in there, just sticking out a little bit. And you can't hook on anything, and that works out really easy. So it's just a very, very simple. You can probably make the thing for fifteen, twenty dollars. A few pieces of wood. If you want to put it on a bench or put legs on it, fine. But if you want to use it for a short while, then you can just use it and hang it up or set it in a corner. But you can take your router off and use it for other things too. Now, thank you for watching.